on a monthly basis, there's approximately about 150,000 new customers that are joining the public cloud. Now, the question is, why do those people do that? And of course, there's research done by smart people like Gartner, and they do that research every few years. And about four years ago, they did that research. And give me a guess of what the top reason was why customers would consider public cloud for their application deployments. Cost effectiveness. More than 50% of the people said, I'm going to look at public cloud for cost effectiveness. All right. So they did that same survey one year ago. Now, what would be the number one reason to go to the public cloud? It's still cost. It was a trick question. But the interesting fact is that four years ago, the second best reason or reason to go to the public cloud was only named by about 15% of the CIOs. Now, one year ago, actually, still 48% said that cost was a primary driver to consider public cloud. But on 35% of the CIOs said, indeed, there are other reasons. And reasons like mobility, reasons like agility. To many people, that might still be a blocker. Things are turning around. KBC, which is one of our public cloud um, customers, actually made a statement that said, hmm, interesting. Three years ago, they went through a complete due diligence with the National Bank of Belgium to actually, of course, put a scrutiny on how we treat security in the cloud. And actually, the result of that was that the CIO publicly stated, it is impossible for me as an individual company to put the measures in place from a security and privacy perspective than the ability that Microsoft has with this type of spending power. And with an increased targeted security threat that we all face, more than economies of scale, I believe that security will be a primary reason to also consolidate right, data and compute power in public clouds. I saw a very nice uh, commercial of uh, Telenet's Play Sports in the arena here, which make logic in the Helamco arena. Play Sports actually use the Azure platform to capture, encode, store, decode, and deliver live football to your tablet, to your mobile phone, right? through the cloud, thanks to the compute power that we have available in the cloud. So it allows you to give you innovative applications. It allows you to take advantage of the data economy. A company like Barco, for example, uh, uses Azure to power right, their um, preventative maintenance applications for their cinema rooms using IoT. But Azure Platform, and this is the third bullet point, also allows you the choice to build applications in the technology that you choose. I always say, actually, Azure, it's not a Microsoft platform. It's Azure. There's a lot of ni not Microsoft stuff in there. And it is flexible. It allows you to deploy anywhere, in your premises, in that public cloud. Now, I know that you're all now quite excited, and you say, OK, I want to do this tomorrow. I have to disappoint you, just a little tad. A month ago, we announced availability of those large instances in the US. In H1, for the calendar year 2017, those will come to Europe as well. Again, I know you're disappointed, but there's stuff you can already do today. Because there's many things, many scenarios that you can use Azure for in your SAP environment to actually already take advantage of what public cloud offers. Total cost of ownership decrease, flexible and agile deployment, storage cost decrease. And one of those examples is, of course, all your, let's say, non-production environments. Interesting to know is actually that Microsoft itself is a big Azure customer. We're not running on a HANA, right? But we're running quite an extensive SAP installation of more than 500 servers. We are already in the process, started some, uh, some time ago, of pulling all our non-production systems, our user acceptance testing, all of those uh, workloads into, uh, into Azure. So approximately 60, 65% of our SAP installation runs on, uh, on Azure right now. Okay. To make this type of project successful, SAP implementations, public cloud, you do need a reliable partner. And today I learned that Delaware is incredibly skilled. They're incredibly skilled in Tesla technology. 
They know a lot about cars. They know a lot about SAP. Right? And what I can tell you as my second point to take home is I know that they're incredibly competent at deploying Azure workloads as well. So considering your project, don't come at a networking drink to me, but talk to Delaware because they know how to do this. Thank you. <laughs>